Why should an architect learn Blender from modeling? There are so many so nicely designed tools for architects ready-made for fast uh, solutions. The problem with all that is that these machines take over. So with a few clicks, everybody can make beautiful buildings, standard buildings with these tools. And we're losing our architecture. So with Blender, we are on another side. <clears throat> Blender is open source, so you have uh, access to all, so it's independent, it's open. <clears throat> and with Blender you get independent from these business plans, from this automation, uh, from taking shares of your profit uh, and so on. And uh, you're independent from that. And you have the full bloom of functionality. But that's a bad thing or good thing. You have to learn. You have to learn how this works. So it's not easy. <coughs> so therefore, what my mission is, I don't like standard architecture. So ready-made things. I even don't like non-standard architecture with all these curves and grasshopper stuff and so on because they are standard as well. And I don't like these kind of participatory things and so on. All this is delegations of architecture to the crowd, to the common sense, to machines and so on. I don't like these kind of things. So the naive understanding of what architecture is, it's not about wall. It's not about structures, functions, problem solving, optimization, organization, participation, engagement, and so on. All that is not architecture. This is with the machines. And we need to emancipate from that. Architecture is the art of jointing. It's communication, contracting, proportioning, texturing, lighting, animating, tra attracting, branding, storytelling. It's about making your point in an open connected world so and the path to that is coding coding connects you to the big plenty of uh, and the principal richness of our uh, beautiful planet coding uh, gives you access to that it's not the drawing coding is not afraid of 10, 100, 1,000, 1 million different things. Drawing is. So code is the adequate medium to articulate your architecture in the digital age. Like it had been the drawing in Renaissance. With the drawing, the architects emancipated themselves from medieval ages and, uh, and uh, the craftsmanship there. So it's just the same uh, situation and this is what uh, you have to learn. And Blender, it's not the coding, but it gives code a form if to bring it in a very short uh, uh, time. So if you are open for this line of argumentation towards a new digital architecture to be developed, so there's no solution for that. If you are bored with all these delivery of standard solutions and if you want to get literate, this is a place to learn your craftsmanship. So I prepared, I'm preparing <coughs> a series of tutorials as an introduction for, uh, to Blender. Blender is not made for architecture. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's a generic tool for modeling, for uh, image processing, for uh, video editing, for <coughs> uh, gaming and so on. Very generic, very open an awful learning curve, but you gain your freedom by learning this. So I don't promise that it's simple. So it needs months and years, but then you're independent and you're able to articulate, express, independent of companies, business plans, uh, marketing strategies, and so on. You can make your point in a connected world. So welcome to this series.